La primera pregunta, ¿cuál es la, la debilidad que ve en la ciencia para afrontar el cambio climático y los diversos problemas ambientales? Y la segunda es, ¿por qué afrontar la problemática ambiental desde el lado espiritual? Sí, sí, sí. Hola. Uh, señorita Wendy. <laughs> I believe uh, science is doing a good job already in uh, diligently researching and informing the public about the critical stage on Earth that we are facing in terms of global warming. Without science, we probably, the majority of us, would not have known anything at all about our dire state of planetary crisis. So after the United Nations announcement of the tipping point that mark an irreversible trend, many scientists have stepped forward with detailed research on climate changes. As a recent example, a U.S. and Canadian scientists traveling to the Arctic have noted increased methane gas being released from the Earth's melting permafrost which is storing immense amount of methane beneath the frozen surface. Other research has also highlighted how quickly the temperature is rising in the Arctic, much faster than in the rest of the world. This means a vast quantity of methane could be released from the previously frozen soil very quickly, which would be a complete disaster for life on Earth. So we are truly in a great ecological situation. And the scientists have done a fine job in raising awareness on the climate issues through their dedicated research and updated reports. Some of the diseases related to meat consumption and or production, rabies, anthrax, sleeping sickness, Q fever, norovirus, swine flu, Ebola reston virus. Cured meats and fish increase leukemia risk in children. Antibiotic resistant superbug infections from a strain of Staphylococcus aureus. Blue tongue disease, E. coli, Salmonella. Bird flu, mad cow disease or Creutzfeldt Jacob disease, 90% of the population at risk. Pigs disease or PMWS. Listeriosis, shellfish poisoning, preeclampsia, Campylobacter, Clostridium difficile, diseases hidden in healthy appearing livestock, some of the costs of meat eating. Infertility, eating just one serving of meat per day increases the risk of women's infertility by 32% with additional meat consumption increasing the risk. Heart disease, over 17 million lives lost globally each year cost of cardiovascular disease is at least one trillion US dollars a year. Cancer, increased childhood cancers and adult reproductive cancers from hormones in meat. Colon rectal cancer, over one million new colon cancer patients diagnosed each year, more than 600,000 colon cancer related mortalities annually. In the United States alone, colon cancer treatment costs about 6.5 billion US dollars. Millions of people are newly diagnosed with other meat-related cancers every year. Diabetes. 246 million people are affected worldwide. An estimated 174 billion US dollars spent each year on treatment in just the United States. Obesity. Worldwide, 1.6 billion adults are overweight with 400 million more who are obese. Costs 93 billion US dollars each year for medical expenses in the United States alone. At least 2.6 million people die annually from problems related to being overweight or obese. Environmental. Uses up to 70% of clean water. Pollutes most of the water bodies deforests the lungs of the earth, uses up to 43% of the world's cereal, uses up to 85% of the world's soy, causes world hunger and wars, 80% cause of global warming, plus more. 
some of the costs of milk consumption. Cowpox from milking cows. Bacterial microbes, pesticides and enzymes found in cheese derived from the inner stomach linings of other animals. Up to 80% of the calories in cheese are from pure fat. Breast, prostate and testicular cancer from hormones present in milk. Hysteria and Crohn's disease. Hormones and saturated fat leads to osteoporosis, obesity, diabetes and heart disease. Linked to higher incidences of multiple sclerosis. Classified as a major allergen. Lactose intolerance. Plus more. For help quitting, please visit. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Thank you for your earth-loving company for today's episode of Between Master and Disciples here on Supreme Master Television. Join us again tomorrow for part three of the compilation of Supreme Master Ching Hai's discussions titled Save Our Planet from the Karma of Killing. And now, Animal World, our co-inhabitants, is coming up next right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. With heaven's grace, may all beings live harmoniously in dignity and respect. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit www.godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.